Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Zuhelmi Bezambi. We present about the final year project one that is role forming simulation with spin back analysis. My supervisor is IR Dr. No Azlina Muhammad Saleh and my co-supervisor is Muhammad Kaswandi Razali. Project Summary Role forming is a highly productive process that is becoming more popular every year. The advantage of this form of study is that it may be done in a very short amount of time. Accurate spring back prediction can be achieved by discussing it using finite element analysis technique to create a reliable model that meets the product's demand and purpose. In this study, solid work was used for 3D drawings and design, and Updex software was used for simulation. Core role forming simulation will be model and plan to be successfully complete based on numerous simulations utilizing AFDEX software, where the AFDEX program will demonstrate this competence in model core role forming process. Introduction Role forming is a mental technique that is used all over the world. Role forming products are used in variety of applications, including buildings, aeroplane, and the automobile industry as well as furniture and household appliance. This procedure has the advantage of a conventional metal forming process in those auxiliary operations such as punching, welding, clenching and so on can be integrated resulting in profiles that are ready to use right away. The tool designer must decide how many forming steps are required to form the profile when designing a new roll forming machine. The number of steps required is determined by the cross section, tolerance, surface polish and material qualities. There is several types of roll forming process, such as standard meal, double high meal, cantilever meal, and pull through meal. And there is several types of defect that is bowing, spring back, and flaring. Literature review: Simple shear tests are carried out in the buoy research using a biaxial machine buoyed by flores that can apply plane strength, tensile, and simple shear states concurrently or sequently. The piston speeds remain constant at 0.005 mm per second in all cases. The product spin back is readily visible and the simulation in figure below accurately predicts it. But several constraints are required since the FE code must be able to handle massive strain problem as well as complex boundary conditions such as friction, contact and advanced forming stool movement. In terms of the material model, it was demonstrated that a simple model may be utilized for a simple U-shaped profile in which that strain roads are not reversed, for example, without bending or unbending. Next, practical material forming studies by Bui and Ponted suggest that geometrical circumstances have a major impact on the forming process. The less spring back there is, for example, the thicker the material, a larger bending radius also results in larger compression and stretching area. This improves the spring back as well. This universal guide looks to be suitable for cold roll shaping as well. As you can see at the graph below, the distance between the first and the last station in the roll forming line grows as the interdistance between station grow. In the ship flange, more, more progressive distortion is permitted. As a result, there is a higher strain recovery and the permanent plastic strain formed at the edge can be decreased. The spring back on the other hand is unaffected. Lastly, Wagon and Wagoner argue that even if spring back can be anticipated precisely, the difficulty of how to use the information to create a suitable die design to generate a target component shape remains. That is, the spring back prediction allow for a head study of forming and spring back. But a backward analysis is required to go from this conclusion to an optimum die design. So, the research purpose and alternative closed loop design method that overcomes many of K and B drawbacks while retaining its generality and simplicity of implementation. The displacement adjustment that is called DA method predicts the next die design iteration using simulated forming and spring back displacement in the patch travel direction. So, the problems. The precise spring back prediction was only possible for pure bending and a few other specialized two-dimensional geometry using empirical handbook principle or simple analysis. Using finite element methods for spring back prediction, following the formation of arbitrary form has gained popularity over the last decade. So, 
Despite its apparent simplicity, Streamback Petition has proven difficulty due to several factors, including numerical sensitivity, physical sensitivity, and, pro and poorly described material behavior under reverse loading and unloading situation. The objective of the study First is to construct a complete process design of role forming process. Second, to display data on material behavior during and after the role forming process along the metal sheet. Scope and limitation. The goal of this research is to create an, a setup of a role forming simulation in AFDEC software as well as to observe and analyze the forming behavior of the workpiece. The role forming simulation study could assist FDEX in optimizing the role forming simulation process. This research is being carried out to determine the deformation of bending streamback analysis in vertical and lateral direction, with the simulation findings being compared to experimental data. Methodology This is the flowchart of my study. First, I will planning. In planning section, we have topic selection, meeting with the supervisor, then understanding of UPREX, study on how to use the software and identify basic parameter needed. Then construct plan of research study, develop project planning on study, that is to achieve objective one. Secondly, I will do. Do is to research on parameter of UPREX, such as literature review, and identify important parameter of road roaming process. Then designing die to identify process design of the products. Lastly, simulation of the product. Insert all the parameter needed and observe and analyze the result. It is to achieve objective two. Then I will check. Check the result of simulation that is review on the product. Lastly, act. Result improvement. Apply improvement and modification and documentation and report. Documentation with report on the study. So, multiple computers and software are used to enter data for modeling and simulation. Although, updates can model a simple shape, more complex shapes should be imported. Firstly, a CAD software. SOLIDWORKS 2021 was used to create the 3D drawings and design. SOLIDWORKS, on the other hand, is popular due to its easy of use and user-friendly interface. The CAD software used should be able to import 3D drawing model as an STL file format because AFDEX import STL files for 3D simulation and DSF file for 2D simulation. As for 3D models, a multiple dice and workpiece can be put into the pre-processing stage at the same time with 3D models that need to be inserted into updex in STL file format. High, steel, high strength steel, that is HSS, is increasingly being used in role forming for the automobile sector, and dual phase steel, notably, notably DP780, are considered HSS and were chosen as the material of the peaks in this project. Expected result. Core role forming simulation will be modeled and planned to be successfully completed based on numerous simulation utilizing AFDEX software, where the AFDEX program will demonstrate its competence is in modeling and core role forming process. Using finite animal analysis, it is assumed that the specified objective may be made with the product meeting its need and purpose. Furthermore, Comparing the modeling results to the experimental data can be provide additional insights into the deformation of bending springback. Finally, data on material behavior during and after the role forming process along the metal sheet is expected to be analyzed and displayed. Preliminary results. These are the given tasks given by the company for us to learn more about the AFDEC software to achieve our objective of study in Springback analysis. As you can see in the first picture, we'll be, we'll be insert the data that is needed in the study of the AFDEX. 
Then, in the second picture, this is the die design that have been given for the preliminary result. It was the design from Katia and was saved in the STL and DSF, DSF file. So, thirdly, the material used is DP780, the velocity is constant and the friction is cold well lubrication hybrid. The fourth picture, that is the die bender information. We put is a spring constant at 0.1 newton millimeter, preload 49 newton, and stroke 0.2 millimeter. And the fifth picture is the position of the die design, and lastly is the spring back analysis step for our study. So the preliminary results are being conducted after a few weeks of understanding the mechanism of the AFDAC software because of the new software for the engineering that was provided for MRFC. We need to study on how to be able to use the software for the 2D design before we are able to proceed with the 3D design. So the material that is used for preliminary result are DP780 because DP780 still has been widely used in manufacture of automobile, reinforcing plate, wheels, chassis, bumpers, body frame, and the like of its high strength and high formability, especially in roll forming process. Thank you very much for listening. For our panels, is there any question, you can contact on find me at 013-712-5364 or you can just email me on 2 2019 at student.uitm.edu.my. Thank you.